Australian Training Works, along with the Yulman Traditional Owners and its project partners, is pleased to present to you the following media production. The purpose of this production is to provide you with the best practice model for First Nations employment and training as it relates to a major project. We trust that you enjoy the video and we encourage you to share it widely amongst your networks. Nyaya waman moa, nyaya nge jura, jura lokon jawa, biya mundu, gayi mundu, uru mundu, muru mundu, mama nyaka nyal gurup jala. Tanji buri abu mundu, rija meru kumbu, nyana yunjua jiri waman mundu ta. Welcome to the Kidston Pump Storage Hydro Project. Uh, it's, a, it's been a great opportunity for Australian Training Works to be engaged with uh, Gen X, the proponent of the project out here in Kidston, uh, as well as the principal contractors, the joint venture, McConnell Dow of John Holland. To be part of the supply chain and to be part of the Indigenous engagement strategy is a significant uh, boost for Indigenous businesses like Australian Training Works. The relationship has to start very, very early before the project commences. So in our case, the learning, the process we used in, in uh, getting to where we are now is having effective community engagement with the local Uruman people and also the engagement that we've had with Gen X and uh, the principal contractors, the JV arrangement. As the opportunities, i.e. job opportunities to do business, have come to fruition, and we've been able to bring both uh, parts of that uh, process together. It's like, yeah, for sure, like, um, I'll put my hand up for it. And I think I was the only uh, female to put my hand up. And um, John Holland and McConnell Dow, as well as ATW, came, spoke about the job paths that we could take. And I was like, yeah, I really, really enjoy this and it looks pretty cool. Um, I'll definitely put my hand up. And next thing you know, I had the job. I heard about the traineeship through a family member, and then I got in contact with ATW, registered, and then um, I was presented with the traineeship. Um, it's a set three civil construction plan operations. Found out uh, through the local job provider. Um, yeah, they made us, oh, we applied for it and we got it, and we had to do two weeks training with ATW and CAMS, and done all our tickets. We got a telehandler ticket, a front and loader, uh, working at heights, confined spaces, just the stuff to get in us, get us in the door. I put it down to about probably three things, which is the reasons why we are successful. Uh, one is empowerment, uh, two is accountability, and three is uh, sustainability. So Bruno Trizzi is the project director and made it very clear at the start of the project what he wanted to have as a sustainable outcome for this project and basically tasked me with, with doing that. Um, so what that meant was I worked closely with ATW. We came up with solutions. We tried to go back to a grassroots type of level. What can we do to put meals on tables? So that was my prime directive is how can I go to somebody and influence their life to give them skills and training? And then how does that work with the indigenous families? Because you know there's different, there's very close relationships that they have. And what does that mean? You know, how many meals are being paid for out of the income that somebody's earning? So these are all things that I, we tried to address and I, and I think we've done a very good job at that. I've got four daughters and a wife, so um, it played a huge, huge part in just setting up some kind of financial security for my wife and my kids. I've, I've never, Rented a place before. Always lived in Yarraba. Uh, because I'm earning decent money now, I'm, I'm able to sort of rent a place without any rental history because of the income I get. A meeting at the school uh, with McConnell Dow. Some of the employees came along and explained some of the um, requirements and what they actually do and their positions over um, in Kidston and in their job. And from that day, Cheryl Lee decided that that's what she wanted to do. She was hoping that she would be picked and be recruited. We're on the trucks now, so I've been trained on the truck there that um, hauling out from the tunnel. I think they say that we're about 350 metres down, which I think they said nearly a K down in the tunnel as you go down around the spirals of the tunnel road. So you're off side on with Jumbo, just loading up the rods in there for them to 
drill the rods in, drag the pipes around and set them up and then power in for the jumbo operators. Just making sure everything running smoothly for them and that. Keeping an eye spotting all the stuff. Um, but the truck's been good, good for me because um, I always wanted to get on the trucks and it's been a good experience now that I've got that got background for having a truck now. I think globally the, the engagement with ATW has been really good for, for Gen X and the, and the hydro project. Um, the, the guys and girls that we've been able to uh, get on board the, the land conservation and eco management system have, have really um, excelled themselves in, in working with our site management team. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a great advocate and um, I'm, I'm really glad that they're on the project. I really love this place. It's, it reminds me of home because I live way back up there. It's hard to go back up. And um, I really enjoy working here and I'm getting, getting taught new things each day and loving this experience. And yeah, it's pretty keen. Some of the key learnings we've learnt from this project is here, uh, particularly around early engagement. Uh, if, you, if you do early engagement, both at an industry engagement and at a community engagement level, uh, you're going to have a better outcome at the end. And this is being demonstrated in here uh, right now with the, with the retention rates and the, and the access to employment opportunities, both for uh, young school leavers and for those uh, First Nations people that have been unemployed for quite some time. Early engagement is, is a word that, you know, you can use it as, until the cows come home, but what it means is actually understanding what you need and what can you deliver on. So how do I involve people who can do the role, upskill, and what value add does that have back to the community? Um, and that's the approach we took. We went to the schools, we rolled out what we were planning on doing, and that had great impact on, on our ability to be able to get apprentices and trainees. We had a target of 5% of total workforce hours and we're like 8 or 9%, so you know we've overachieved on that. But I think the, the, the ultimate thing that we did, was, which I've never seen done before, is um, we, had, we, we came up with a position description for an underground trades assistant. So we identified a gap with HR that we had a shortage of underground labour and we created a position description, we created a, and then a training program through ATW, um, and that was basically done after a NAIF presentation. Yeah, we wake up about 5.30, go to the crib room, get our lunch things ready, and jump on the bus, and the bus takes us to the job site, and then get ready for a toolbox talk. As soon as we get to the job site, we do our pre-start, familiarise ourselves on what changed on the site. Yeah, well that's the main thing. Importance of getting a qualification is sort of the next step. Next step in the right spot for you. Um, it'll increase your chances and opportunity. And probably the biggest one for me, um, being employed full time, is um, financial security for my family. Uh, it makes me feel proud because back where I come from, we, we don't have that much type of opportunities up there. So my family um, basically moved down south to see what what's the big life, our big city life is all about. And um, I'm very proud to be here and actually um, being a part of this project to um, develop skills and become a better person. Um, so Shirley has now completed her cert certificate three mm -hmm. in business. Um, this now means that this, this actually opens up a new um, lots of new avenues for Shirley to be able to uh, venture down, uh, potentially go anywhere in the world um, to work uh, in the position that she's in. This means that me as mum, we I have to you know support Shirley and with the help of um, ATW as well, um, with the collaboration of ATW and myself with Shirley, it's just um, ricocheted her in this direction that she's in. My role here is uh, business administration. I take care of the flights, accommodation, Excel spreadsheets, rosters, um, PPE, um, and then I have like little jobs on the side as well that they're bumping me up to as when I transfer over to McConnell Dow. Yeah, well, this, like I said, um, this experience is really great so far, you know. I'm really enjoying it, you know. I'm, 
Like it out here with bullshit on country. <laughs> That's the best thing about it. Yeah. If something works, you'll get you know John Holland or McConnell repeating what we've done here, and it'll be okay. Look at our manning schedule. What are the key requirements? The longevity of the project. Take a bit more risk on overheads, and then hire people at a, at a grassroots level, like the Cheryl Lees and everyone at the apprentice electricians and workshop diesel mechanics we've got. Yeah. Um, for those who are still in school, I would tell them to stay there, stick it out until you're ready to graduate, and. Um, Every now and then I catch up with a lot of my mates that I've graduated with to see if they're doing all right. And um, I do put a word out that ATW will help them out. And I've got some of my cousins are really keen to go and I'm give it a try. I'm pretty happy to see them start out here if they could. It all comes back to having the right partner. So the answer is easy, it's ATW. Um, I don't, I'm not earning any money, I don't have an ATW shirt on, so I'm not making anything out of this, but um, you know, I can't speak highly enough of Tony. We would like to you know, send out a massive thank you. We're very grateful for the opportunity, a massive thankful to our partners, the joint venture our partners, McConnell Dow, John Holland. Uh, a massive thank you to the proponents of the project, Gen X. We've had significant support from the board level right down through the operational offices on this project so we can't be more thankful enough that the team out here have been not only supportive of, of ATW but very very supportive of our workforce that we've engaged on the project out here. The wraparound support model that we promote and foster you know has only been enhanced by having the, the, the support network for our workers once they've come onto site here and uh, started working on the project. Thank <laughs> you.